Good afternoon, YouTube. All right, today we have problems trying to get that gold into that bedrock in those cracks. Well, we're gonna build a gold sucker out of PVC so you can get in there and suck out those cracks and get that gold that hasn't been touched. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna need is the body. I use an inch and a half. I use 36 inch PVC two inch and a half inch couplers, which I just put on there. Go ahead and beat them on. They're on there. Body complete. Oh, yeah, this is easy. Second of all, you're gonna need your plunger. Now we're gonna build the plunger. I use three quarter inch PVC. I went about 35 inches, one inch shy of the body. You're going to also need another piece of three quarter inch PVC. This is gonna be used for the tip as you get in there and suck it out. We'll cut this at an angle later. You're going to use 3 quarter inch T. This is going to be the handle. A 3 quarter inch threaded cap. This is going to be what holds part of your plunger together. You're going to use an MSA, which is a male slip adapter to thread 3 quarter inch. You're going to use an inch and a half by 3 quarter inch bushing. You're also going to use an inch and a half by one inch bushing. You're going to need for this, I use three quarter inch uh, PVC insulation. Comes in a nice long stick. It's only a couple bucks. You're not going to use very much at all. Christie's Red Hot for a couple spots that are going to be, need to be glued, which I'll glue those after the video, but for speed of purpose of this video. I'm just going to tell you where to glue. Use a pair of scissors. I'm also going to use a little electrical tape for reinforcement since there's a slit that comes with these insulation. Let's get started. So after the body has been assembled, which I showed you just earlier, set that aside. To build the plunder, it's super simple. You're going to take your one and a half by one inch slip adapter, or excuse me, one and a half by one inch um, bushing. You're then going to take your T. Be sure to put this on first because once you glue this on, your handle, which this will be glued, you're then going to glue on your MSA, three quarter inch male slip adapter, right there. This will be glued. Go ahead and cut a piece of the insulation. You don't use much, this much. It has a cut in it. So what I'm going to do, use a little bit of electrical tape. We're going to tape that seam where it's been cut, all right? Like so. Now it's one unit again. Slide it over the thread, like so. Go ahead, now take your threaded cap, three quarter. Go ahead and thread it onto your end. You have your seal for the plunger. Next, you're gonna wanna slide that in. It's gonna be a tight fit. Push it in. You should hear that. Makes a good seal. Slide your reducing bushing into that. To your half inch coupler. And you can hear it's got good suction. Next we're going to take our half one and a half inch by three quarter reducing bushing and put it at the end of the body onto your half inch one and a half inch coupler. Tamp it in. Now I use a 12 inch piece three quarter inch for the end. Attach it in. And there you have it. A nice useful tool that every prospector should have in their bag to get into those crevices and get that unseen gold. One other thing I'd like to point out, you don't want to be sucking, if it gets hard, you got a big rock, don't sit there and try to really suck it in. You're going to wedge it in here and it's, you're not going to get out, it's going to be a real pain. So I suggest making a pilot hole, taking a screw, 
an attached screw, you know, small screw on each side or one longer one. That way, right at the tip, if you get a large rock that just happens to be this diameter, it's only going to go right there and you're not going to get it stuck down in here. Make it a pain in the butt to get it out. It's just quick, easy. You can take your screwdriver or your pick, pop it out, you'll be good. Also on this sucker, once you suck, go ahead, don't leave it down because it's a loose suction, it's just going to drop out. So this is just made for sucking it out, lift it up, and push it back in to your bucket. There's no trap in here to collect the heavy materials in this model. This is just a quick, easy model. If you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, you could probably do this for under $10 to $15. If you buy it online, it's probably going to be a lot more expensive. All right, as always, like and subscribe. See you guys in the gold field. Good luck.